Good morning. It is really great to be with you this morning. And I am humbled to be able to have this opportunity to share my thoughts on many different subjects with you today as many other days as we come together. It is so great to be able to be in the presence of so many beautiful people. And today, I want to share a subject with you that is, that is very close and dear to my heart. And something that I hope that you can be able to use yourself that will help you to grow in God's grace, help you to go out into the world and achieve all of your desired goals, anything that you desire to do. And this subject is simply how writing things down help you to achieve your goals. Now, writing is very important. Writing is akin to a farmer planting seeds into the ground. And the reason for this is, is that once a seed is planted into the ground, the farmer has no control over what happens to that seed. You see, that seed can either die in the ground or it can sprout up and become a beautiful plant flower, a tree, or whatever its kind was of that seed that was planted into the ground. You see, because seeds have power. But if the farmer thinks about planting a seed into the ground and never actually makes the effort to actually put that seed into the ground, that seed is never going to sprout up. So the same thing with you having a pad, a pen, a thought in your mind, and then taking the time to simply write it down. You see, your thought has power. It had the power from the minute it entered into your mind. But for that thought to become reality, you need to do something with it. That is why it's akin to planting a seed into the ground. You need to take the time to write it down. And once you write it down, the power that's in that thought will sprout up and become reality. For an example, you write out a grocery list or a list that of things that you want to pick up at your local hardware and the next day you go out to the store to pick up the things that you have written down on this piece of paper but for whatever reason you forgot that piece of paper and that piece of paper is still at home where you left it but now here is the power of that thought that you wrote down. While you are at the store standing in line trying to remember what is it that was on that piece of paper. Don't start worried about, hey, I got to go back home and get that piece of paper like a lot of people do. Stop. Compose yourself and say to your mind, mind revealed to me what I wrote on that piece of paper. And once you do that, your mind will reveal to you in picture perfect 
everything that was on that piece of paper. Because you see, what took place is, is, is that when you thought about what you wanted to get at the store, it was in your conscious mind, your awakening mind. And your awakening mind planted that seed into your subconscious mind. And when it planted into your subconscious mind, you wrote it down, and your subconscious mind waited for you to ask for it to be revealed back to you. That is the power of thought. It is the same thing as if you were having a dream and you were awakened from whatever the dream revealed to you. You know that you had that dream, but the next day, in your awakening moments, you cannot remember what that dream was all about. But if it was something that was important to you, the one thing that you should have done was to write it down. You see, for me, I keep a pad and a pen at my bedside. I carry a piece of paper and a pen in my pocket at all times. I carry a paper and pen in my automobile. So wherever I may need to write something down, there is a pad and a pen there. And if it's not a pad and a pen there, I carry with me a recorder. A recorder is something that technology has brought forth to all of us now in our phones. Uh, there are very few phones today that does not have a voice recorder in it. And if you learn how to use this voice recorder properly, it can help you to be able to memorize the things that you need to memorize so that when you record something on this voice recorder, for instance, if you're driving, you cannot take your pen and paper and write it down. So I simply flick on my voice recorder real quickly and record what I, my thoughts are at that moment. Uh, at night, if I wake up out of my bed and I have a great thought, uh, I, I simply reach over, pick up my recorder, and I record my thoughts down on it, and I go on back to sleep. The next morning, I get up, I turn my recorder on to see what it was that I was thinking about. Then I go to my desk and I get my pen and my pad and I listen to my recorder and I write it down. Now, these thoughts are something that I may not use at that particular moment. But the fact that I wrote them down, I have now planted the seed into my subconscious mind. That seed is planted into my soil, which a farmer will call his, his gar garden soil. So there's no difference between the two. It is one is physical soil, the other is your spiritual soil. Your mind is the mind of God. So you, you're giving your thoughts over to God and you're asking God to, 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 to reserve uh, these thoughts until a place and time that they are needed. And the moment that they're needed, you go and you ask God to reveal to you what you were thinking. Because now you have written them down there on paper. You don't have to have that piece of paper. But the fact is, 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 is that your thoughts are uh, that you wrote on that piece of paper are, are now coming back to manif manifest itself into the reality of what you actually need. You may write a thought down today put it in a file drawer and never pull it out until a year from now. But during the course of that year, you did things without actually pulling out those thoughts that you wrote down on that paper. And the reason that you're able to continue to do those things that you wrote on that piece of paper is because they're in your subconscious mind, the mind of God. 
And when you need them, you are asking for them and they're sprouting. Seeds cannot stay in the ground. Good seeds. So if a farmer has uh, a rotten seeds in his bucket and he put them into the garden soil, those seeds are not going to sprout. It is the same thing as your thoughts. If you're planting good seeds into your soil, they're going to sprout. But the negative seeds, they're going to be there. They are not going to sprout unless you having a negative mind at all times. And once they sprout, they're going to bring forth its kind. Nothing but negative things. And negative things are not good for anyone. So what are you going to do with a bucket full of negative thoughts? Same thing as a farmer. What is he going to do with a bucket full of negative seeds? So we have to think good thoughts and we plant those good thoughts by simply learning to write them down. A pen and paper are very good tools to have to write your goals down, to write your to-do list down. Write it down, no matter what it may be, where it may be, or whatever it may be. If you learn to write things down, it will put you that much further ahead in your life and you will learn to grow in prosperity not sometimes but all the time your prosperity will become very great and that is the key thing to writing things down so until the next time that we meet on this channel to be able to share our goals our ideas our thoughts we leave you today with our peace, we leave you with purpose, we leave you with love, and most of all, remembering the power of thought. And when you are left with this great power of thought, the last thing that will take place is your prosperity will become great. So until the next time we meet here in this classroom, peace, purpose, power, and prosperity be with you now and always. See you.